Okay. Hi, it's me again. I know. I'm your worst nightmare. Part three. Changed my whole, my whole gimmick here. My whole thought that I had in my head. I really did. God, don't you love when you do that? It's like you start doing something, the painting actually, you know, when people say the painting talk to them. Mine's just saying, look, so I'm going to give this some pouncy texture. All right, and some pouncy texture right here because it's coming out of there. And I got to figure out what the hell to do with those that blue thing around her neck that I cannot stand. So here goes more black. Just not digging that. I'm just giving a drop of the black. Just a drop. And I really got to go through my... This really is going to make me go through all these paintbrushes. I haven't organized them in... in uh, I'm so cheap. I'm scraping the paint that came out that didn't go onto my thing. Oh, well. I'm cheap. Today's day and age, you have to be. So I'm going to go around her. And get this, whatever the heck this blue thing is that I did and thought was a good idea at the time. I had a vision in my head. Yeah, no. I'm going to make her neck look a little bit more normal. I'm going to take... that neck All right, that's a little dark, I know, but I'll do something over it. I just got to figure out what. Oh, I see where I missed. Bring this down. I hate when they don't match. Like, when, like they don't connect kind of thing. I just like them kind of being wispy. And I can always go over it with blue. With a light blue or whatever. Okay. I'll just do... Right. Okay, <laughs> stop! <laughs> Okay, so I am, why did I do that? I need to have that as her neck. Let's see if I can take that off. Where it's already drying. It's a good thing with acrylic paints. I'm not going to dab it off if I had a Q-tip here, but of course I do. So I'm going to wet it. Put that in there. Take my towel and just kind of dip it and get that up yeah all right now I'm just gonna blow it dry for a minute
this black uh, golden old dry face. Let's get some of this. I'm gonna get some gesso in here. Give her a neck. We're not really gonna worry about the body too much because, um, She's going to have wings. So we're going to just make it a little rough looking. Like where the, rings, the wings connect. Over here a little bit more. We're going to give that a second to dry. Now we got to figure out here. So mix some blue, whatever blues I have with the gesso and kind of go around the black because the black will just give it more depth. And I'm just going to kind of pounce it in. I can always go over with the hair and fix the neck and all that kind of stuff. Not worried about that. Just kind of getting where I can get it. Take this blue. And if you if you spounce it or pounce it or whatever word people I know people use the different words, um, it also gives your wings kind of texture going out that way. So, and the black lines we can always go over again if you want to. And that'll just take away from that for now until we get back to the black, back in black. Do your brush again, and I would probably take a little bit more of the darker blue and kind of add that in. Just to go with some more depth. Which we'll touch up again once we go. But I think that looks a heck of a lot better than the black. And I'm going to go up here at the edges of the wings because I want them to kind of be tattered looking. Does that make sense? And I'm just mixing blues together. Doesn't matter because this is just going to give me a little bit of an idea of what I'm looking at. All right. Now I'm going to go for the face paints for the skin color so I can do... 
um, her neck. Make it all one color. I'm not worried about shadows in this. You know, where the, sh where the lights come and where it's not. Because I really don't. I'm just going to kind of give it a little jiggle. Um, not really concerned with that. I'm just kind of getting a little painting done. Just because I feel like. If you ever just feel like sitting down and painting. With no objective. Not to sell it. Not to do anything. But just paint. Um, I do that a lot in my journal. But today, I just, because I've been finding so many canvases and, and stuff that I've done that I've thrown to the side because I'm not digging them. I'm like, well, I'm not going to, I just told uh, somebody on Facebook, they asked what to do, you know, do you paint over canvases? I'm like, yeah. Mine are all thrown in the same place, so I know where to get them. So I'm going to play and, and try something. I'm just going to play and try something. You know, like these little paintings like this, I, I would probably sell for like seven bucks. If I was, you know, legit, legit doing it. I need some gesso on that just to make it more. Smooth and she'll need one more coat of the skin over it once it dries. And that's good. All right, now the hair. We're getting there. So far, we're getting, we're getting. I'm gonna take my pouncer one more time, go over whatever red I have left here that I mixed in, go over it one more time, and then I'm gonna go over with just red, red, red. Go over the skin one more time. Right here. It's not that big a deal because I'm just going to kind of paint something on her. But this neck area is being a pain in the butt to cover. I'm going to keep my smaller brush. I'm going to take my red. 
Now this one I'm just using, it's Folk Art Artist Pigment. It's a lizard crimson, the same red color, but it's a little bit deeper because it's the pigment itself. It's not cut with anything. Folk Art makes them. And I'm kind of going to like give it that like matte, like how do you say uh, because I want you to see some of the underneath, but this might be too small of a brush to get what I want. I want them to look raggedy. And we have like several colors down that'll show through. Hold it up in a second so you can see. I might have to take my bigger pouncer. This really isn't a pouncer, it's a paintbrush, but I want it to have that like kind of rough look. And it's just not doing what I want it to do. Let me take my pencil. I just have to take some off with my paper towel. So it gets your texture. Now if you have Punchinella or you have um, Bubble wrap. I don't know if bubble wrap is in here. Let me get a look. Okay. So I'm going to give that a second there. Let's see if I have any bubble wrap. I don't want that bubble wrap. So what happens when you clean your office? You can't find anything. Some small bubble wrap. Got to tear it. I'm just gonna tear a piece off. I'm not gonna waste your time on me cutting and being perfect. And I'm just gonna set it down and push it down on my paint. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah, that adds texture. Let's see. hard to see. I don't know if it's so bright in here. So I move things around and I, I think I might have made it too bright. I'll just turn my one light off in the end. And then don't waste this. Put this on your paper. And get some bubble stamps. See? You're making a mixed media piece of paper. How awesome. Okay. So that kind of gives it the look I want. Now I gotta take a teeny, teeny, teeny little, little teeny, teeny, teeny brush. Um, try this one. If it wants to come out of the container, come on. All right, I'll do this one. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my black.
Now I can decide if I want her eyes open or shut. I'm shut. I'm going to do just little eyelashes. Her little nose. Her lips, I got to do a different color. This looks like her could be her nipples, but they're not. It's just kind of where the armpit goes, so I have an idea. I'll probably be painting over that. I'm going to take a little bit of this brown here. Not too much of it. I'm just kind of give her a chin. You know what I want is I want a. Uh, I was I was trying to color there because I want her neck to be a little bit shadowed but not brown. I'm gonna go over that once that dries. I'm not worried about it. I would like. Be good to mommy. Be good to mommy. Sorry, it's on my dogs. Be good to mommy. Oh, I gotta have a cool color. Maybe I'll do a hot pink, medium magenta, liquid text. Oh. For her, let's put you aside. Shit, I'm just grabbing another brush. Let me find another brush. It's a wedge brush or whatever they're called, angle shader, but I don't care. So her neck's going to be here, so I'm just going to kind of give her a... Because he doesn't love hot pink. And it kind of blends with all the colors. And we'll just give it a little. And I'm not going to be worried about the colors I put in on the bottom for the arms. Let's see if we get a better view that way. Need a new camera, too. Looking into it. Usually my dogs are down here, they hear me talking. And they're narcissistic like me, and they're like, oh, she's talking to me, I need to go. We can just kind of, which I'll probably go back with the red. But we'll give that a second to dry. I think I'm going to put little, like, very small black veins in this. Yeah. Move it up a little bit. Yep. I'm almost done. I'm not going to bore you much longer. I just love doing old canvases over again. I think her shirt will survive. All right. I'm going to this one. Dry it off. Just want a little bit of the skin tone so I can go in here. kind of cover that up.
nothing major. And then with that little brush. I'm gonna take my little brush again and just a little bit and I'm just gonna good God hope because this brush is a little old and uh worse for wear. That works. Works better when you don't put your hand in the shirt that you just painted. Yeah. Good. So that's done with that. I can put my black wigs on the black there to highlight what I want to highlight. This is why I never get clean done because I'm sitting here. I'm like, oh, I want to try this. Now, let's see what this does. I just kind of want it scribbled through, like. Kind of drug. Very lightly. Just kind of add some texture. And if you had too much texture, or you're not digging it, just go over it again with red. And if you want to take your paper towel again and just dab it to get some of the black off just so it's not as um, strong maybe as you want it or go over it again with red. You know, you just want to dab it a couple times so you just see some highlights. And I want... I don't want to do a black one. I don't want to do, I think I'm going to do a red one. I'll just use this color. I'm using the red, again, the Liquitex red. I'm just going to put a little bit on here. I don't want her to have. I'm going to give her a little flower. I'm going to give it a second to dry. Right. While that's drying for one second, I'm just going to put my other colors away because I'm happy. This is just a play around piece. I just wanted to show, you know, if you want to, again, do them, you know, like I said, I would sell this for a couple bucks. Um, I might add, um, just waiting, just because it would go. I might take some gold and just kind of streak it down her hair. Just taking it out of the cap. I'm not going to pour it out or anything, but just to kind of give her a little bit of 
bling. Since I don't know glitter wouldn't work on here. And I'm just gonna put, I was gonna do a yellow, but I'm not gonna do a yellow. I don't know why I don't use yellow and green, but apparently I was. White, no, use gesso, the dark blue, I'll keep it out. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit more red on the rose. Let me show you so far how the rose is looking. Dipped a little blue in there. I don't care. <laughs> I kind of rhymed. Okay, a little bit more red. Just to go around. Start in the middle. Because you have your highlights now. So don't throw those old canvases away. Or, or old pieces of watercolor paper. Or whatever you have. Because you can just sit and play. Now, is she adorable? She's an adorable little thing. You know, is this what I would sit down and, and you know, just do it like that, and then I'll put a little boop in the middle for the thing. I, um, you know, but it's fun to, that's why we are journal. That's why we do things, you know, just to have a smaller place to do something. Why not use your old canvases? Like I said, now I'm going to stick my brush tip in the black and just give her a little, a little mook mook. And if you want, you can go back in and, and clear up the, um, you know, the red a little bit more, put a little bit more highlights, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to waste your time. But the only thing I am going to do is bring these down now. Because that's driving me crazy. And it's just like, you know, I love doing trees. Dead trees are my thing. So you're just kind of making everything have a place to go. And then you can even add thinner ones because I'm using a thinner brush. And it's kind of like, I mean, there's no, I don't know what to call this. But it's just adding another kind of thing in the back. She's kind of standing. Maybe it is a dead tree. Maybe it's gosh knows what. Now, you want to go back in. You want to touch up some of this. You want to add some um, light, you know, some more light blue in there to kind of add your highlights. Add some texture, you know, whatever you want. If you think certain places are too dark or need a little bit of lightening up, you just go. You know, and if you overdo it, you just go back and take some of your darker color, whatever you have left on here. And you just kind of go in. You know? It's darker out back, obviously. And see what I did? I My water's getting black now, so it's not helping. So I went over some of my black spots. So I'm just going to um, clean them up so the paint doesn't affect it. And run my black through it one more time. And just give her some really, it just is really cool looking uh, texture in the back. And this was just like I said from a old canvas. Now, where you could go from here, if you could put on. Uh, Twinkling H2O's, you can put on your um, 
glazing medium, your iridescent medium, if you want to make these a little, have a little bit of sparkle. Um, let's see. I have some iridescent medium here. You could do your Mod Podge sparkle. You can just do a little bit of white glue with a little bit of glitter. But real quick, I will just do the little bit of over the It doesn't have to be perfect. I picked a crappy brush to use. He probably need a, this is a liner brush. I needed a firmer brush, but we'll just kind of give it some loving. And again, I'd take my paper towel and wipe it, which I'll show you in a minute. But I mean, if you want to lose, like, light, uh, how you say, soften her up a bit, which I don't. I like her, you know, I like her either way. Or you could use this on a shirt. It doesn't matter, but you put that away. I take just a little bit of water. Then I'll just go in with my rag and just kind of blot up again like you do. So you have places that it has it. It gives it texture. In places that don't. So, let's lift this up a bit. Here is my redone canvas with my little girl with red wings and the sky behind her. And you could put a full moon if you want. You could do whatever you want. And that's just how easy, just very simple when you're playing and you're redoing, you know, you're redoing a uh, canvas. And of course, you can go in with colored pencils and all that kind of stuff to, to do the finer details. But something fun, something different. And then with your paint that's left over, what I like to do is spray it all with water, including the gesso. Take my piece of paper. lift it up and you get a <clears throat> mucky mess and it doesn't matter and then you just take your paper towel because everything's loose you know or your rag or your paint rag or whatever you use and you have your next background I just don't want it to be too wet to lay this down you have your next background look how cool and if you want to take your bubble wrap while everything's still kind of wet and push in and pick up different colors and move it. You can do that. Because not only does it pick up, it'll also make imprints. Do that again. There's a lot of that blue paint. And look how fun. And you just cleaned up your mess. And you have the great beginnings of a background. If my, yep, you have the great beginnings of a background from another mixed media project. So here's my baby. She'll go back on my wall of things I've done. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and, um, you know, we'll take your canvases or watercolor papers or things that you've experimented or even in your art journal and just play around, you know? This is just straight paint on a little canvas. So, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Woo! I don't want to lay her down.